I'm so much taller than you. My torso, it's crazy. Sit all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're fucking here. What's up? Do that one more time because I interrupted you. You sure did. <laughs> one, two, three. What's up? I'm not even gonna, we're not even gonna do it this time. So, we're gonna get deep today. Maybe. I thought we were, <laughs> we were in the well, That's why I said maybe, I don't know. So, you know, we're, we decided we're gonna get all in our feelings and be all gushy and get the tea. We're gonna basically ask each other questions that we've always wanted to ask each other, but haven't. So you ready? Yeah, I got Ari the Fitz. Before you say anything, what do you all think our questions are gonna be? Like mm -hmm. put that in the comments below. Like what do you think right now is about to come out of Jade's mouth? Yeah. Just pause now, grab a snack, We could just write sit your questions. Here. We could freeze. I don't know yeah. why this is my freeze pose. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this your free pose? <laughs> Looks like you're praise dancing. Guys, send me a playlist. Make a Spotify playlist and then send me the link. If what song? If you we actually get like an email from God, like somebody's gonna create like a Gmail. Like this is God AJ, at gmail.com. Yeah. The name one song that would like be on God's playlist. Whoa. Is that one of the questions? Okay, gosh. Gotcha. That's one um, of my questions. That's one of my questions. Let's just start. <laughs> All right. I mean, obviously bad emoji. Really? <laughs> on God's playlist? God? You tried, God. He would not have bad I feel like God would have, like, crazy in love on his playlist. Because I feel like that's on everyone's playlist. Fair. Name one video you regret making. Ooh, that's a good one. Whoa. Damn, I want to get that back from mm -hmm. you, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not, like, fuck a video. Like, the whole thing. Like, I... am I was really into doing like daily vlogs mm -hmm. and I was making all these vlogs and then I realized that they weren't saying shit. Like they were so like just boring and basic. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is where I went today. Like me and my friend, we got food and I was like, like, why the yeah. fuck would anyone care? Like, I don't know. It just was, mm. I didn't like them. So just that little season. That, yeah. That season of like vlogs that I was making where I was like, so I took myself so seriously. I was like, these need to you get out by like three You were on it. Art would like come over to my house. And we'll be chilling, and then she would just be on her laptop, like editing shit, um, like sending edits, like the whole thing. Did you ever have a crush on one of our friends, like one of our like YouTuber friends, mm -mm. like a legitimate tr crush? Really? No. Yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, I came out here with Vanessa, so my those blinders have kind of gone off. But um, also, most people I just don't like. So that's also just a thing. I'm only laughing because I'm like, that's what people actually do in relationships. Like, you, you get in a relationship and then you actually don't even, like, crush on other people anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's, sometimes you do, and that's normal. But, um, like, I think that doing it here just made it easy. Yeah. Not saying that our friends suck or anything like that. Just saying that, like, it wasn't, it was never gonna, like, go past that. When you develop a crush, or when you did, mm -hmm. was it, like... How did you know you were crushing someone? This is late now, I'm sorry. Like, that's not even like on the list. I just wanted to know. Um, I feel like I try, okay. I'm a horrible texter, one. Two, I'm not like the biggest fan of texting. So I feel like when I had a crush on someone and I was texting them, I would actually like try and like be engaged yeah. in the conversation. So that's like one thing. Cause like when I text people now, yeah. also including you, yeah. like it's just like- It's trash. It's, yeah. it's trash, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Texting game on garbage. Yeah, it is. Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's like when I when I actually start giving a shit about like, oh, let me text you know her back in a promptly fashion. Like I mm -hmm. think about that, but now I'm like, I'll text you back whenever I text you back. Do you feel like you're the Beyonce of your friend groups? Oh shit! Wow. Oh, I know why you asked this. Um, because we were talking about that. Yeah. Uh, no, not at all. Not no. even. I don't think my personality is big enough to warrant that. I do, whenever I go to places, I do, like, get a lot of attention. Because y'all are active now. Y'all are just showing up everywhere. Like, oh, Lori. I'm like, oh, my fucking yeah. God. I'm, like, at Walgreens in morning house. She was mm -hmm. like, this we is We went out last night, and she was like, Ari, Ari. Hey, Ari. It's really, really fucking cool. Because yeah. it's, like, now people that I never would guess watch my shit, watch my shit. And so, yeah, and they're, like, fans. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird when, like, people you admire admire you back. That is, like, when you know you're, like, do you're on the right track, though. Mm -hmm. That's, like, the coolest thing. So it's hella fun cool. I still don't think I'm the Beyonce of the group. I feel um, Or of, in, like, of any of my friend groups. I'm, like, pretty... 
You know me. She yeah. knows me more than a lot of people. Yeah. I'm very, like, relaxed into myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it, like you bring a certain vibe to a friend group. Hmm. You know? It may not be the Beyonce vibe, but it's a vibe. You're like avocado. You're like the avocado. So basically, like, you know how avocado, you put it on things and it makes it taste better, but it also, like... You don't need all, it. You don't absolutely yeah. need it, but it's like, when it's there, it's like, ooh, avocado. You know? That's actually the sweetest thing group says. Do you pray? Yes. You do? I do. Actively? Um, this is the thing. I have to practice. I'm practicing praying by praying. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is when things are bad, I will pray. But as we I all feel, do. So like stop being judgy. Right. But no, I was going to say like I would feel bad about only praying when shit was bad. So yeah. when things were good, I tried to like remind myself like, yo, talk to God. Yeah. Because like, you know, actually try to have a, a well-rounded relationship. Right. You know, with him in whatever way I feel like. So, yeah. cause that's another thing. Like I do, I do believe that my religion is for me. Like I don't really. We're the same person. Yeah, I don't like. If you go to church, that's great. If you don't, that's great. I don't think that yeah. means anything. I don't think that shows your um, devotion or dedicate or dedication to God. Yeah, I have a similar, super similar relationship. Like mm -hmm. where I, um, I'm practicing, and I like, cause I feel like. Cause I grew up Christian, mm -hmm. but like I never really liked like all the rules, especially coming out. I was like, I'm gay as fuck now. I yeah. actively talk about eating pussy, like it's a regular thing. So I like I feel like I wouldn't. I was like, oh well, does that then make me like no longer Christian? Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And um, I think what I do now is when I take a shower, I like remind myself to be very appreciative of things that I have, yeah. and I am talking to a higher power when I show that appreciation. Mm -hmm. And then um, when things are bad and good. Like I try my best to be like, yo, thank you. It's always it starts yeah. from like appreciation and moves from that. Mm -hmm. What is the most common misconception people have about you that bothers you? Oh God. Um, I feel like now more and more people are starting to get it, but I am like a very like introspective, like like not so extroverted person. Probably what we were talking about before, like why I'm not the Beyonce of the group, mm -hmm. um, which I think is actually Amber. I think Amber is a Beyonce. Of like of, of her yeah. groups. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Amber is definitely Beyonce. Yeah. But for me, I like I think a lot of people expect me to like when they're around me to just be like, ah, and like the life of the party and like all this shit. And I'm like, dude, I got shit on my mind. I wanna sit and like think about it. And so I think it's that, like I'm super extroverted, I'm super like always gonna start the party, always gonna make all the friends. I can do that shit, I does that shit, it's not difficult. And same with you, like mm -hmm. we're both like very social. Yeah. But for the most part I'm like I want to sit and think about shit and be like, with like the li the blinds closed. You're like a caterpillar and a butterfly at the same time. <laughs> You're like a cocoon. You are the cocoon. I, I'm a fucking cocoon. Like a lot of people think that I'm like either scary or mean or like all mm -hmm. these things because I don't. Same. Yeah. Have you ever cheated on someone? No. Damn, that was so fast. No. Vanessa's the only. Vanessa's like my first and only like. Serious relationship, real? yeah, like real one. And have I you ever been on a break so. and then you like talk to someone else? Mm -mm. I the fact that I, I have should. all the different like levels to this looks really bad on me right now. I'm very aware of that. You're seasoned. I'm still asking the questions. <laughs> um, you said talk to somebody and then take a break and then talk to somebody else. Yeah. No, because I don't think we talked long enough for us to have a break. Got it. Got it. that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, do you ever get jealous of your friends? Ooh. Yeah, all the time. Same. All the time. It's like, it's one of those things where, I, like, I know I'm not supposed to be doing it. Mm. I know it's like, it's a, no, you're not supposed to look, look straight ahead, not to the sides. Yeah. I get the fucking cliches and the little things. It happens. Like, certain people will, like, get, you know, projects that I really wanted or just, like, they're just moving further and I'm mm. like, fuck, I gotta work harder. And that's, I like, I like that because mm. it's like, it only just fuels me yeah. to, like, you know, making those shitty ass vlogs every single day. I feel, and it, if anything, it just means that you're like surrounded by people who are like excelling. Yes. Which is never a bad thing. Yeah. So, Jade. What? Foxy Hot Mess. What? The what? funniest person on YouTube. I have oh one God. question for you. Do you have names for your titties? I don't. <laughs> but now that you mention it, <laughs> I want to do it right now. <laughs> I feel like my titties have been through a lot. Um, they're see. 
I was just about to say that they're seasoned, so I'm gonna name them after seasonings. So, one can be called Old Bay. Oh my god. Because she's my bae, and she's always been my bae, she's always been there for me. For which, which side, the left or the right? I'm gonna go with the left. <laughs> okay. And then the right one can be like, um, pepper. You went with the most basic ass spice. But I put right pepper one. on everything. Okay. That's the okay, left. So you put your right titty on everything. <laughs> <laughs> I put my right titty on everything. That's like a, a literal statement, a metaphorical statement. It's empowering. When you put your foot down, it's not about fuck your foot. When you put your right titty down. Well, hey, thanks for answering my questions. Thank you for answering mine. Bye, y'all. Right, so yeah, we're gonna go over to our channel. We did a video over there. Go so subscribe and like it. Check and it stuff. out. Check, Check it, it out. And yeah, we'll see you guys very soon in another video. Bye, girl. Peace.